This is VOA News. I'm Diane Roberts. U.S. Senators will receive a classified briefing on February 15th on the Chinese balloon that was shot down by the U.S. military, according to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The briefing will also include information on how the U.S. stacks up against China militarily. A U.S. military fighter jet shot down that suspected spy balloon as we set off the eastern coast of the U.S. state of South Carolina Saturday, a week after it first entered U.S. airspace. Reuters correspondent Rachel Graham reports. An obvious overreaction. That's what the Chinese Defense Ministry called the U.S. shooting down of an unmanned Chinese airship in the United States. China reserves the right to use the necessary means to deal with similar situations, said ministry spokesman Tang Kefai in a statement on Sunday. President Joe Biden told reporters he had issued an order on Wednesday to take down the balloon, but the Pentagon had recommended waiting until it could be done over open water to safeguard civilians from debris crashing to earth. That was Reuters correspondent Rachel Graham. Credo que é per l'India el prossimo anno, creo. 29 de septiembre vado a Marsiglia. Pope Francis said Sunday he's planning to visit India next year and is studying a possible trip that would be a first. During his flight back to Rome from South Sudan, the Pope confirmed that he would be in Lisbon, Portugal for World Youth Day the first week of August. He said he'd participate in a September meeting of Mediterranean bishops in Marseille, France. The Pope added there was the possibility that he would fly from Marseille to Mongolia, which would be a first for a Pope. Pope Francis wound up a peace mission to South Sudan Sunday, urging the people to make themselves immune to the venom of hatred to achieve the peace and prosperity that have eluded them. This is VOA News. The Malian interim government on Sunday said the head of the UN peacekeeping mission's Human Rights Division had 48 hours to leave the country as he had been declared persona non grata. In a statement, it said the decision to expel him was connected to his allegedly biased choice of civil society witnesses for UN Security Council briefings on Mali, the most recent of which was held on January 27th. The Malian authorities have come under pressure for alleged human rights violations and abuses reportedly perpetrated by Malian armed forces in partnership with the Russian private military contractor Wagner Group in Mali. The UK Treasury has signaled that there is no money for defense despite recognizing the urgent need to rearm in the wake of Russia's war in Ukraine, Sky News reported on Sunday, citing defense sources. Britain will be unable to offer as many troops as NATO allies would expect to a major new force structure being drawn up by the alliance to bolster its defenses, the report added. The European Union is launching its ban on imports of Russian diesel fuel starting Sunday. The 27-country EU is taking the step to further slash its energy dependency on Moscow. Pakistan's former president, Pervez Musharraf, died Sunday following a prolonged illness at a hospital in Dubai after years in self-imposed exile. Reuters' Rachel Faber produced this report. Pervez Musharraf, who ruled Pakistan for nearly a decade during the critical years of the American war against al-Qaeda and the Taliban, died in a hospital in Dubai on Sunday. Musharraf, a former general who seized power in a bloodless coup in 1999, appeared alongside American President George W. Bush less than a month after al-Qaeda terrorists used jetliners to attack New York City and Washington and pledged himself as part of a coalition to defeat the militant Islamists and the Afghan Taliban sheltering them. His family said Musharraf was suffering from a rare organ disease called amyloidosis and was admitted to the hospital last year after he became critically ill. Again, that is Rachel Faber of Reuters. Gale force winds and snowstorms caused traffic disruptions in Slovakia Sunday. A local train got stuck in snow in the north of the country and a group of workers and a digger were called in to remove the snow from the tracks. From Washington, I'm Diane Roberts. Please subscribe, like or comment.
Thank you. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm an American. I grew up in the U.S. I am a professional English language educator with extensive experience in teaching English 
especially English for academic purposes, test preparation, and general English to university students and adults 